Oh yeah. Turtle power. We're in K-Town. Um, and we're at Kevin's course. Beautiful, beautiful property out here. This is one of the coolest courses I've ever been to. Um, private, awesome, 18 holes. Um, but yeah, we're just hoping for a birdie today. One little chirp chirp birdie. Uh, so we'll see, let's have some fun. Okay, welcome everyone to K-Town, hole one, par three, 423 feet. Basically, you're just wanting to get something out there as far as you can. Um, Dan's throwing a Zeus, I'm throwing a disc that he gave me, a Factory 2 Wraith. So, I love that disc so much. Um, this was just off a of hole one. Uh, once you're there, you'll see that. This is a beautiful private course owned by Kevin. So, this is Dan's second shot. That was a really good shot of his Zeus right there. Um, it's just one little thing you'll find out about that shot. I'll tell you in a second. Here's mine. And I knew right away that I did not have a good release. So here's Dan. You know, it's the one up to the right, right? And unfortunately, he thought that was it, but it was actually to the right 100 feet. But it's all right. He was able to get back up there. Nice. Um, that was for my par right there, and that was that's pretty bad by me. So here's Dan. I believe he's just throwing a method right there. Nice. Some mid-range. And here I am. I just got a bogey hole one. I'm all right with that. Here's hole two, par three, 446 feet. Basically, it's going to be to the white shed down there, straight ahead of us. So I actually hit a tree. Dan gets his Zeus out there pretty good, pretty far. Get a full flex on that. That was pretty beautiful. And a little bit of roll. Oh. Me, I went about 10 feet off the tee. So then I just throw a monster hyzer down there. I'm going to get to the right of the Damn. blue shed. So here's Dan. I believe he's throwing his method again. And that just got a lot of wind on. He just had a high release nose up on that. There's my terrible putting as per usual. There's Dan with his NV, MVP putter. Very beautiful. There's me and my judge just pitching up. And we're off to hole three. Hole three, par three, 410 feet. Um, basically, this one's gonna be to the left up there. So you kinda wanna shoot straight uh, because there's a lot of mess to the left and there's like a little bridge to walk through. So you wanna go straight and then pitch up there for the left. I had a pretty good one right there. Get right around the tree, almost actually land on the bridge right there. I was pretty happy. So here's Dan, he's just throwing a zone, I believe. Here's me throwing a buzz I got from DZ Disc, I love it. So I just didn't get as far out there, I was trying to round, but I was alright with that. And you know what, I'll take that any day, take a par any day. So. Here is hole four, 161 feet, par three, straight up the hill ahead. Dan got a little nice. left up there. You can see me get a little, a beautiful tree kick into the woods to the left. I loved it. So here I am just pitching up for par. There's Dan. And there's my par. So now we're off to hole five. Hole five is par three, 341 feet. Basically on the other side of that big tree right in front of us, Dan's gonna try to hyzer, but unfortunately had a bad tree kick and ended up a little bit to the right, but didn't have as bad a shot as my tomahawk right here. Cause I'm thinking, yeah, I can tomahawk over that tree, why not? And as you can see, I hit it right in the middle. <laughs> Uh, fell about right in front of the tree right here, which is just a terrible, terrible look to have. I have nowhere to go. So I'm just trying to round a putter just to get on the other side of the fence right there. And there's Dan out of the woods getting near the cage. 
here's me again for my par shot and I'm just laying up there because I had a bad tomahawk so up there we are just pitching that in here's Dan he's gonna do a little flick and almost had that one and here he is just pitching that in Okay, this is hole six, par three, 98 feet. Um, it's a very tight gap, as you can see down there. So you just want to get anything out, mid-range putter, and just get something down there. To try to get just a little birdie on this one. It's probably one of the most iconic ones here, just 98 feet, but all downhill. So here's Dan. Oh, Dan, did you want to talk about this hole? He just came in. Ugh, I, I don't even want to talk about this hole. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Okay, well, Dan's leaving. Uh, he had a couple good shots, as you could see there. But, yeah, overall, it was a fun time. Okay, this is hole 7, 243 feet, par 3. It's basically straight ahead. Got a really tight gap right here. As you can see, this tree moved right in my way. And here's Dan. Just getting into the rough as well. So, he got out about right here. He's just going to try to get near the cage for a par. That was a pretty good hyzer he had right there. I believe that was his EMAC troop. Um, here I am with my buzz. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, I can get this in the cage. Why not? And you know what? I hit the front of the cabin. So now I have just the best look at the cage. As you can see, I can't even see the cage. So I'm gonna take my judge putter and try to figure out what to do and I'm just gonna spike it in the air. I almost got that which I was pleasantly surprised. There's Dan just pitching up. I think he was running that but it was a little windy today but hey that's no excuse for any of us so <laughs> there I am bag on and everything. Dan just going to pitch his in right here. We're going to move on to hole 8. Hole 8, par 4, 610 feet. So the way that Kevin told us to play this, there's two cages. Kind of one in the middle, one on the left. Kevin said basically whoever has the box at this point uh, gets to the side. I'm throwing a hyzer there. So I got to the side and I decided to go to the far left one. So here's Dan just throwing a hyzer, got an unfortunate tree limb that just kind of the wind blew it in his way. Here's me again with another hyzer. I was hoping for more of a skip right there, but Get past that tree. there's Dan just laying up. That was a beautiful shot and here he is about to hit me and he didn't. So there he is. This is for my birdie shot, and that was not the greatest. So I just took a par right here, but I was very happy with that. Hole 9, par 3, 171 feet. Basically, this one's going to be to the right of that red barn. It's an uphill, so you got to put a little more into it than you think you do. Dan's throwing a Zeus and just got that turned over way too fast on him. What's cool about this is Kevin was telling us he just built that little white thing right there so people don't uh, get confused, you know, when they're shooting a hole before, which I thought was really, really cool. So that was for my birdie. This course was so awesome. I just want to thank Kevin again for having us out that day and being able to play it. And we had so much fun here. So off to hole 10, par 3, 367. There I am just throwing a hyzer out there. Got a little, way shorter than I thought. Here's Dan. Another hyzer with his Zeus. The wind just kicked that down. He got a little bit of a roll. So this cage is actually really cool. It's elevated. Uh, Dan just kind of had that nose up a little too much. Here's my second shot. I'm just trying to get up there. There you go. So here's Dan, and uh, you may not have heard him, he said, I'm just going to lay up, I don't want to run that. <laughs> Which I don't blame him, but uh, I said, you know what, I'm going to run it, I don't care. And it felt good to run that. I'll take that. Yeah, and Kevin got to see that, so I was pretty happy about that. 
So here's Dan. Just ah, oh. uh, that cage moved on him. I swear it did. So he's just gonna pitch that in and move on. Okay, now we're off to hole 11, par 3, 315 feet. The hole is straight ahead up there. So Dan just got that really high up there. He's having a little bit of problem get that uh, kind of nose up on him. I'm going to go for a bit of a hyzer line right here with my new Buzz ESP from DZ Disc. I kind of landed in a fire pit up there. Um, there's Dan just kind of throwing another hyzer, getting it down there. I told him that was way better than I thought it was. So Here I am kind of running that and I just did not get that putter turned over as much as I thought I did. So there's Dan, kind of hitting off that tree right there. There I am, just pitching that in. You'll see Dan from the right pitch that one in right there. It's pretty beautiful. Okay, now we're off to hole 12, 305 feet, par 3. Look at that. Pretty straight ahead. That was pretty. That was so pretty by Dan, just a little simple hyzer straight ahead. And this is pretty ugly by me. My flick was floppy, hit a tree, and you know what? I hit another tree. That, I feel like I hit the same tree. So there's Dan just kind of doing a little hyzer right there. And actually he hit off the back of the red ball and kind of rolled back toward the cage. Uh, I'm just kind of throwing my buzz right there and a little bit of hyzer. You can see Kevin over there on the right coming up. He actually played that day. Here's Dan pitching in. It was so awesome too. Kevin was so nice showing us around and it was so much fun. You know we may have played some of the holes wrong but it doesn't matter. We had so much fun. I actually hit Dan right there with my disc. He should have got out of the way, but hey. So here is par 3, 200 feet, hole 13. There I am. I did not get my buzz turned over. It's just on the right side of the hill. Dan actually had a really good shot. Almost got a birdie there. Um, I thought I had a terrible shot. I landed right here. So I was hoping to pitch this in, but... It might be. My putting just been garbage lately. So there's Dan. Got a par on that. Pretty nice. Here's for my par and oh, 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 oh that that one stings. I can feel it. Okay, off to hole 14, par three, 302 feet. Here's Dan. He's throwing his Zeus again. So the hole's gonna be on the other side of that big tree up there. Um, so here I am again throwing my F2 factory rape that Dan got me. I love this this so much. I landed a little bit more right, but at least I got over the tree. So I was happy for that. Dan said, watch me tomahawk. Um, I'm not sure if he saw that tree there or not in front of him, but it was there. So there he is, just throwing a little hyzer, kind of rolling up there to the cage. Here I am, I actually got through all that nasty stuff, so here's for my birdie, and you know what? I uh, got a doink right there off the trailer, which actually saved me if it wasn't there, so there's my par. There's Dan pitching in, and now we're off to hole 15, par 3, 305 feet. Dan put a lot of mustard into that. He got that really far out there. Here I am throwing my wraith again. And I actually thought I was going to hit this white building, but uh, I had a pretty good hyzer line on this. I actually get around both trees down there, so I put a lot of power into that. Here's Dan throwing uh, just a little hyzer, trying to get around up there, kind of hit a nasty tree. I'm right by the cage, but I hit a tree because, uh, of course, I hit a tree. Here's my par. Look at that double bogey. <laughs> Dan said uh, I had a double bogey, but uh, he was just uh, getting a little upset. We both were razzing each other, so par three, 318 feet, hole 16. Dan just throws a hyzer right there. Here I am. Gonna pretty much do the same thing. 
Except I get my he gets his a little too left, I get mine a little too right, so. Okay, so here's Dan shot, his second shot, and he's just kinda pitching up right there by the cage, as you can see, and it's a beautiful day. Look at that foliage right there. Here I am trying to get another birdie and Oh, got close, got close, but close isn't close enough. So Here's Dan, just gonna kind of flick something in there, just trying to, oh! Here he is, a spit, oh. Well, it happens, believe me, it happened to me earlier. Here I am, just pitching that in. Off to hole 17, par 3, 207 feet. This one's straight ahead, but as you can see, there's a lot of trees. So here I am, I'm throwing my buzz again, and I'm just trying to get around. Dan hit a tree, kicked over, got in the fairway. I didn't hit anything somehow. So here's Dan from probably about a good 80 feet out, flicking that and almost got that in. I'm glad I was by the cage for that. That's his EMAC truth, by the way. Here I am, almost hitting Dan, and I'm just pitching that in, give a fist bump. Okay, hole 18, par 4, 512 feet. This is basically going back to where you park. Um, yeah. So Dan just kind of throws a hyzer there. I'm kind of trying to do the same thing. I actually thought I had a really good shot. I don't know if you can see it. My disc rolled 25 feet to the left behind the trailer. So there's Dan. And this course is so cool. You come across so many cool things on the course, and here I am shooting through. Oh, and hitting a tree. I was trying, trying to do the little funny gap right there, but. <laughs> and there I am, just trying to pitch up, get over the fence down there. Like I said, this course, it's it's awesome. It's different. It's something it's my first private course it's by appointment only it's on new disc you have to uh, contact kevin but uh i recommend going to it it's so amazing okay everyone that's it for k-town uh awesome course beautiful time out here 18 wonderful amazing holes i got two birdies i think Dan. I got two pars, I think. Dan got a few <laughs> pars. Overall, though, just wanted to thank Kevin for having us out on a beautiful property. A little windy today, but hey, it doesn't matter because we had fun. So, thank you, and until next time, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.